on a rolling stone. What does that mean? Well, it means, you know, the stone is something that's, that's unmovable. Moss doesn't grow on a rolling stone. Moss doesn't grow on the unmovable kingdom, unmovable activity of mankind. As we stay active, there's no moss that grows. But now we see the moss is beginning to grow. And that's not how it used to be. Because I used to be active. I used to have vision. I used to go forward. But for some reason, I've become stagnant. I've become immovable. I'm not active anymore. So then when the jester sang for the king and queen in a coat he borrowed from James Dean and the voice that came from you and me, James Dean was the rebel without a cause. James Dean represented a whole generation of rebellion. He died in a car accident because he was speeding. The, the, the jester was the devil. The jester is the devil. And he sings for the king and the queen. He's singing for the church. In a coat borrowed from James Dean. In other words, he's singing to the church with an adornment of death and rebellion. And a voice that comes from you and me. In other words, the generation is receiving it. The generation did receive James Dean. And rebellion became the spirit of the age of James Dean. And you have to kind of be a little historian to understand that, but it's very plain. And while the king was looking down, the jester stole his thorny crown. The jester, the devil, stole the holiness of Jesus Christ and took it from the church, removed the holiness of the church. The jester in James Dean, the, 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 the independence and the rebellion that James Dean was, and, and the music of the day, was turning the whole community, was turning the whole generation, stole the crown, the authority of Jesus Christ in the church. And the courtroom was adjourned, no verdict was returned. What happened? That's when judgment left the church. Judgment has fallen the street. You can read in Isaiah 59. Judgment is turned away backwards. That's when that happened. The church began to lose its authority in the 50s. And going on into the 60s, the authority of the church went away. And do you see how that fits? Mm -hmm. As the king was looking down, the jester stole his crown. He removed the authority from the church through Rebellion and rock and roll music. And the courtroom was adjourned and no verdict was returned. It, it's very plain to see uh -huh. if you can yes. understand that. And while Lennon read a book on Marx, and he's not talking about Valimar Lennon, and he's just not. I mean, that he lied there. He's talking about the Beatles' Lennon. John Lennon. John Lennon. Well, John Lennon read the book on Marx because Lennon was a Marxist yeah. and promoted Marxism mm -hmm. everywhere he went. The quartet practiced in the park. The Beatles, yeah. the most worldwide famous group ever. What's the park represent? The community of man. Do you, do you get that? Yeah. While they practiced in the park, we sang dirges. What's that? <laughs> Death yeah. songs, yeah. funeral songs in the dark mm -hmm. the day the music died. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, it talks about rhythm, rhythm and blues. I think it goes on a little further down about that. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about the spirit of that. It was up there previously. Was it up a little yeah, higher? They, okay, they that's right. They off their shoes. The, the, well, we took off our shoes with the rhythm and blues, but I think there's there's another one that, that depicts that. Uh, okay, stop. Sing it. Okay. Helter Skelter in Summer Swelter. Well, that's the Tate murders. Yeah, yeah. That's the Manson murders. Yeah, Charles and he, Manson. And Charles Manson. And I, a lot of people don't even know who he is now. But I'll tell you, Don McLean knows who he is, and he would not say yeah. that that's yeah, what that meant. That was, but he was. totally passed that yeah. over. Oh, yeah. But I the Spirit living. of God didn't pass it over. Mm -hmm. I, was oh, in, oh, I was living yeah, in L.A. Yeah. Yeah. That's all right. Go down. Yeah. You were? Wow. Okay. And when I was a kid, when that happened. Yeah. It was all time space. This is all time space. Yeah. The birds flew off with a fallout shelter. The demons were removed in a safe shelter in the second heaven, eight miles high, in the second heaven. And falling fast, it landed foul on the grass. Foul means uh, uh, stench, um, immoral. Um, they... they Quadrants of demons came down, and the grass means the earth. You know, it doesn't mean anything else. It means these fells, they fell fast on earth. They came to the earth. What happens during Great Tribulation? Satan is kicked out of the second heaven and is thrown down onto the earth. That's what that is talking about. Do you see that? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yep. They come up from eight miles high. It could have said 80 miles, it could have said 800 miles. It just means a second heaven. From the, the birds, the demons flew off with a fallout shelter, with a safe shelter into the second heaven and then fell fast, landing upon the earth. The players tried for a forward pass. Who are the players? The church. The church. The church. The church tried for a forward pass with a jester on the sidelines and a cast. What happened? This is the great charismatic renewal. It actually injured and, and uh, put the devil aside. The great charismatic renewal dealt an injury blow to the devil in his work. And it says, now the halftime air was sweet <coughs> perfume. In other words, halftime was coming, there was a sweetness to this, to this rest, this law that was going on now. Uh, like the Jesus movement, is that what you're talking the, about? Yeah, the great charismatic renewal. Renewal. And uh, the halftime air was sweet perfume. While the sergeants played a marching tune, we all got up to dance, but we never got the chance. The music of the world prevented the, the um, a chance to start over. The, the, the charismatic renewal injured the jester didn't deal the death blow to it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there was a sweetness of, of, a, of the half, meaning a time period, and we all got up to dance. What's that? Happiness joy. came yeah. back. Yeah. Joy yeah. came back to the yeah. church for a small, but then we never got the chance because the sergeants held the field. That's what that's saying. Is that making sense to you? Yeah. Yeah. And you can see it in the history of the church. You can see it. Because the players tried to take the field. The marching band refused to yield. You see? Mm -hmm. Do you recall what was revealed? The day the music died? 
And that's a good question because what did you, what was revealed to you looking at the charismatic renewal and looking, looking at the church before the charismatic renewal was dead? There was no dancing. And it was overcome by rebellion and independence, the James Dean thing. Then the charismatic renewal came. The players got on the field. The halftime was sweet. There was a time of revival. We got up to dance, but we didn't have the chance because the marching band refused to yield. The devil's music refused to back off. We started singing Bye Bye American Pie. And so then that's the verse again. And then, oh, that they were all in one, oh, there we were all in one place. All of us now, there was no distinction between the church and the world. There we were all in one place. You see that? And look at the church today, the contemporary church. There's no difference between the church today and the world. A generation that's lost in the second heaven. Space. With no time left to start again. There's not enough time before the judgment of God to start over. I don't know what you think about yeah. that. I don't know what you think about that. There are people that that are prophesying, oh no, we're going to have the greatest revival ever in the history of the church. I believe we're living in the greatest revival. Now, I do. I believe we're living in the greatest revival. We're, we're, we're cleaning up the remnant. We're cleaning up what's left on the plate from the great revival. Mm. There isn't enough time to, turn the to, to, to start over. That's what this says, to start over. So come on, Jack B. Nimble, Jack B. Quint, Jack Flash, uh, set on a candlestick because the fire is the devil's friend, only friend. What's this mean? We're all sitting in the fire. We're all destined for the fire. That's what that's saying. I mean, that's a cute little rhyme, but and, and those of us that are old enough remember that particular little poem or whatever it is. But... Uh, fire is the devil's only friend. Well, that's what it says. So come on now. We're all lost. We're all in one place. And we're all going to be burned in the fire. That's what that says. Yeah. If you can read it, if you can see it. Mm -hmm. Oh, as I watched him on the stage, my hands were clenched in fists of rage. No angel born in hell could break that Satan spell. Do you see how clear this is? Wow. Yeah. wow. All of us are in the same place now. We're all destined for hell. We're all destined for the fire. And as we sat and watched the devil work from the stage, we were clenched. Our fists were clenched, clenched in fists of rage, realizing nobody could break Satan's spell. Jesus Christ is breaking Satan's spell. Yeah. But he doesn't give that. that. That's not what's going on here. Amen. As the flames climbed high into the night to light the sacrificial rite, I saw Satan laughing with the light the day the music died. He didn't talk about any of this. Yeah. No. No, he didn't. And also he said, when I went to the sacred store, we haven't read that. Yet. Not yet. Okay, it's go. The, it's the go. I'll talk about that. I met a girl. Oh, here it is. I met a girl who sang the blues. I met the spirit of wisdom singing the blues. And I asked her, the spirit of wisdom, for some happy news. But she just smiled and turned away. I got to read this. I said I wouldn't read anymore but I have to read this because this is exactly wisdom I'm calling she wisdom the girl 
Wisdom sings the blues. I asked her for some happy news, but she just smiled and turned away. Wisdom cries without her voice in the city streets. She cries in the chief places, in the open of the gates. She utters her words. How long will you simple ones love your simplicity and scorning delight? Fools hating knowledge. Turn to my reproof, and I'll pour out my spirit upon you and make you know my words. But because I have called and you have refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. You have set all my counsel at naught. You have done none of my reproof. So I will laugh at your calamity. I will mock your fear. And when your fear comes as desolation and your affliction comes as a whirlwind, when your distress arises and comes upon you, you'll call upon me, but I will not answer you. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's what it, the wisdom sang the blues. We asked her for some better news, but she turned away. Wow. Wow, that's deep. Yeah. Call is an answer. They'll seek me early, but they won't find me. They'll call upon me, but I will not answer them. Wow. She turned away. I went down to the sacred store. This is the church. Yeah. The sacred store is not the is not the music, music record house. shop. <laughs> it's the church of Jesus. I went down to the church where I had heard his music years before. But the man there said the music won't play anymore. 